Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you a uh, update on this Fluxgate generator setup. Uh, it is already running because uh, for those who have seen my previous video, it does take a lot of time for it to get up to speed. Still the same input, 29.5 volts at yeah below 50 milliamps. So let's say 50 milliamps. I have now a larger coil on there, longer, as you can see. This coil over here uh, has a far better output than the uh, smaller one in the previous video. Let me start by measuring the RPM. It has been running now for about 10 minutes, so we should be at its top speed. 1867. Gonna write it down. 1867. Gonna push the coil in its place. I'm only gonna do uh, testing at the edge because in the center of the disc I uh, have far less output and uh, at the center it does put. Uh, less drag on a system or well, basically it doesn't put any drag on a system in the loader coil but the output is so uh, so bad that it doesn't make any sense to put it there so I'm gonna only do this at the edge of the disc it will give me uh, a little bit more drag on the system but it doesn't matter because this output is much better let me measure the AC output As you can see now, I have 18 volts AC. If I move it a little bit, just have to put it just in the right spot to get the maximum output, which is in this case 18 volts AC. Gonna write it down 18 volt AC, open circuit. The coil is still open. We're gonna measure the RPM now with the coil in its place. Only the coil in its place. I have now 1837 RPM. 1837. So there's a drop already from of 30 RPM. Uh, now I'm gonna load the coil with a small LED over here. Yes, there it is. As you can see, the output isn't that much. Oh, even though I had 18 volts AC, because otherwise that LED should have been burned a long time ago. We're gonna wait for it and see what the RPM does now that the coil is being loaded as you can see the RPM has dropped a little bit more 830, 29 let's give it just a few more seconds and in the dark the LED is far brighter than what you've seen in the uh, first video in the previous video with a small coil so yeah the output is better it's much better let me check the RPM 1827.26 let's say 1826 so there's another drop of 11 RPM from where the coil was in place. Now I'm gonna short the coil. Yep. Shorting the coil now. And let's see what the RPM does. 
even though the output is far better now with this coil uh, I'm not going to make a complete generator I can put eight of these but I don't think it's going to be not I don't think I'm pretty sure it's not going to be enough even though the input at this side is very low it's still not going to be enough and I'm not going to waste my wires because copper wire is expensive to make them RPM is now as you can see when the coil is uh, shorted out like now RPM is now 1833-34 so shorting the coil does make this uh, speed up a little bit you might say not much if you compare that to the coil in place open it was uh, 1837 it is now going to that same RPM and when it was loaded it was 1826 that's why I always say don't only short your cars out also put them on a real load it's a big difference shorting them out and real load as you can see the RPM is still climbing here while it is on the load sorry on the short 1841 that gave it a few more seconds I am gonna build a complete generator a flux gate generator but with these coils I have a lot of these they have lemon, uh, laminated core so I'm gonna make a, uh, a generator with 12 of these and see how that goes I don't mind making it with this one because um, it's not a waste of the wires and it would be cool to see a complete generator running it would be something like this but that's over maybe a week or two let me check the RPM one more time eighteen hundred and thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine yeah I think that's about it 1839 so as you can see when the coil is shorted the RPM is higher than when the coil is loaded with a reload so whenever you do a test don't just short your coil also put a reload on it doesn't matter what kind of load a load where the uh, energy can really flow to the load there's a big difference in these two okay I think that's about it uh, just a quick video on this gonna switch it off still having a little uh, a bearing issue nothing uh, spectacular still running pretty good so once more no coil in place it's 1867 with the coil in place the RPM dropped with 30 RPM 1837 when I load the coil with a small LED I uh, it gets to 1826 which is 11 RPM uh, less than when the coil was in place and open and when I short the coil the RPM goes back up to 1839 it goes back up higher than the RPM when the coil is in place just sitting there open so always do a coil shorten test but also do a coil load test with a reload next will be like I said a flux gate generator with this one in a few weeks time hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching